Gopal Kumar continued. One day, Narada Muni saw me in a secluded place. He, who is the crest jewel of the merciful, the friend of the Veena, very dear to the Lord, and who is an ocean of nectar of devotion to him, touched my head with his hand and blessed me, saying, O son of a Gopa, O object of the Lord of Vaikuntha's mercy, I can see by the withering of your face and other symptoms that you are as unhappy as a wretched person. What is the reason for your unhappiness? Please tell me. I am very eager to know. I have not seen anyone like that here. To Narada, who was exalted, who is the best of friends and who was like my own guru, I told all that was in my heart. After hearing everything, he sighed, moved his eyes everywhere, pulled me to his side, and spoke slowly and with great compassion. Sanatana Goswami explains that Narada moved his eyes everywhere, looking in every direction, because he was about to reveal a very great secret. Narada said, The opinion you hold that no place is better than Vaikuntha is the truth. However, you wish to see the pastimes of your worshipable Lord directly, those pastimes which you have seen only in meditation. Sanatana Goswami explains that the worshipable Lord here is Lord Madan Gopal. His pastimes bring great bliss. They charm the heart and are filled with love. They are extremely confidential and are attained only by the great love of the people of Braj. They are not easy for those like me to attain. His pastimes are splendidly manifest in a certain realm that attracts its own devotees and is situated somewhere above everything. By devoutedly worshipping the Lord of the Universes, you have come to Vaikuntha. How can you see those pastimes here? How can those very confidential pastimes be manifest here in Vaikuntha, which manifests the Lord's supreme opulence? You should give up all lamentation and see that the Lord of Vaikuntha is the same as your worshipable deity, Madan Gopal. Do not think of them as two different persons. Then, even here, you will attain limitless, transcendental, eternally increasing bliss that fills your heart. Sri Gopa Kumar said, With limitless yearning, I wished to hear whatever of these truths I could understand. Overcome with awe and shyness, however, I could not ask him about them. Then he, the best of the all-knowing and best of the Lord's devotees, understanding all that was in my heart, to please both my ears and his tongue, briefly revealed something. Sri Narada said, Don't think that the animals, birds, trees, vines, shrubs, grass, and other things you see here in Vaikuntha are made of the darkness of matter. They are Lord Krishna's personal associates, and their forms are eternal, full of knowledge and bliss. To enjoy the bliss of serving the Lord in many wonderful ways, they assume these forms. According to the specific form and nature of the Supreme Lord that they worship and meditate on as their beloved, the devotees attain a form like the Lord's. In this way they manifest many different forms and opulences. They have forms like the Lord's incarnations as humans, sages, demigods, and philosophers, and as the Lord's incarnations as Matya, Kurma, Varaha, Nasringha, Vamana, Shiva, Brahma, Indra, Sesha, Surya, Vayu, Vani, and many other forms. They also attain four-handed forms, and still other forms, with the specific garments and features of the Lord. The form and features of the Lord one has worshipped, one attains when he enters Vaikuntha at the end. All those features of the Lord become dear to him. Sanatan Goswami explains that the forms and features of the Lord are the Lord's incarnations, such as Lord Ramachandra 
and Lord Kapila. By worshipping them in the material world, one is able to see them in Vaikuntha. The words at the end here mean at the end of one's stay in the cycle of repeated birth and death. The word rasena means by engaging in the different kinds of devotional service which begin with glorifying the Lord. Narada continued, In Vaikuntha, everyone sees the Supreme Lord, Narayan, who manifests various forms appropriate to each person. Worshipping the Lord as they had before, the devotees always attain newer and newer limitless bliss of devotional service here in Vaikuntha. These supremely faithful great souls see the Lord now surrounded by extraordinary associates. His handsomeness pleases the heart and mind. He is the same Lord they worshipped before, and as before, they desire to serve Him eternally. Worshipping their own lords in Ayodhya city and other places, the devotees become happy. The devotees' faith and love is not placed in one form alone. The Lord has many forms, and each form is served by certain devotees. All who devoutly chant the eight-syllable mantra and other mantras glorifying the goddess of fortune's husband attain Vaikuntha at the body's end. They attain as much happiness as they could wish, a happiness greater than they had known before. Because they taste different kinds of nectars of devotional service, they are different, being more or less advanced in devotional service. The Lord happily appears as Nara and Narayan Rishis, Dattatreya, Parasaram, Kapila, and other incarnations, all of them jewels decorating the earth. In Svargaloka and other celestial worlds, He appears as Vishnu, the Lord of Sacrifices, and other incarnations you have personally seen. He also appears as Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Nishringa, Vamana, and many other incarnations, all bearing different names, all with different forms of eternity, knowledge, and bliss, and all simultaneously different and eternally one. Considering these incarnations of the Lord as different persons is an illusion. They are not different persons, as the individual spirit souls are different persons. The Lord's potency shows His incarnations to be different persons so that He can enjoy different transcendental pastimes. The devotees are different persons because that is their actual nature. The variety of the Lord's forms is not like the sun's reflection on the water. The Lord's forms are like the sun, shining as one in the sky, but seen as many by people in different places. Sanatana Goswami explains that a person in one place sees the sun shining near a certain tree, and another person in a different place far away sees the same sun as shining near still a different tree. In this way, the two persons see the same sun present in two different places. They see two different suns, although one sun shines in the sky. This example shows how the one Supreme Lord is seen as having different forms and characteristics.